2008 freshman football. No, 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 2000... no, 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 no. Fre- so freshman year of high school. Freshman or... year of high school. Yeah. So we're going okay. way back. That's the first time I ever picked up a weight ever. I hated football, um, but I liked lifting. So I lifted like you know for that year. Um, but then I went away from it all through high school, all through college. I would kind of like, Just I would dabble. get in these spurts where I'd like go to the gym for a little bit and then I'd go away. Didn't really, didn't know how to eat. Um, I would just go to the gym. Um, the second year of law school, well, the summer before my last year of law school, um, I did a lot of, uh, going out and, uh, basically what happened was when the summer wound down and school started back up again the people that i were hanging out with like had disappeared because they were pretty much just like hangout buddies right so i said you know what i'm gonna get back into the gym um so i got back into the gym i joined a gym i think it was like a bally's you know i joined a gym in uh, manhattan so i uh so now like i went online and i started perusing the boards again and uh and i saw the uh the animal I, I forget which one, but it was yeah, one. Yeah, you've been like an animal guy forever. Yeah, the animal the animal training. It's probably training McGrath or somebody like yeah, that. It was Frank it was Frank McGraw. And I was just like, holy shit, like where the hell is this yeah. guy coming from? He was like, a tank. So He is a tank. So from then on, um, it was pretty much um, you know, bodybuilding from then on. So that was like two thousand and nine. I came I was like one sixty five uh, when I started and I came home, I was like 205. And yeah, that's kind of like when I met you, right around yeah. 2010. Yeah. And it, I you mean, were, it wasn't. You were 205, but you were like soft. Yeah, it was not. You weren't fat, you were just soft. Well, it wasn't quality. I mean, it was a lot of, you know, weight gainer and. Right, right, right. That type of Mega stuff. Mega Math 3000. Right, exactly. So that's, you know what I mean? So, and then I guess the awareness. Kind of picked of up what it, would, what it would take is. You know, um, I guess, I don't know, another year natural training. And then that's when I met you. Um, and then it was like, hey, man, like, do you compete? And I said no. And then you said, do you want to compete? And I said yes. And then we went from there. Right. So that that that's when we dieted down one last time. Yeah. So I was 205. And you were like, oh, yeah, you think you look pretty good, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I think I look pretty good. And this was the time that it was still the 202 class it wasn't 212 yet right so i was like yeah i mean i weigh i weigh more than these 202 guys so you're like okay well we'll diet you down like you're gonna compete and we'll see what you look like and we stopped the diet at like 162 163 yeah 162 yeah. because i looked like such a string bean you were like ah yeah so at that point in time i knew like listen this is not, like, it was kind of a real realistic yeah the chicken broccoli and weight gain it wasn't wasn't uh wasn't gonna cut it so right so then we got them the program, and uh, you know we're not going to talk about details of you know h- how we go from t- 160 pounds to 230 pounds in two years and all of that. Sorry guys, you got to pay me for that. But um, basically, the first that from that moment where you were dieted down on, it was all about the show. Yeah, it was. Well, yeah, because it was the diet down, see what type of muscle we had on, and then. Um, plan, pl- plan for a year, a solid year of, I want know, people to hear this because they think like, Oh, I'll just pick a show next summer and do it. Yeah. No. And it, it's more than that. It's, you know, no, it was a year out. It was a, it was a, it was a year out plan and it was three quarters of the year. Well, it was, it was yeah. until 16 weeks out from the show, it's going to be eat like a horse and train like a horse. And then we die. And hopefully Wherever we come in, we come in, and however much weight we, we put on, we put on. But He's saying we because I also did the show with him after a 10-year layoff. Yeah. Starting as, like, when I met him and I was like, you think you're good? I was fat and small, and uh, so he must have thought I was nuts, but I, I managed to find some pictures to show him that I knew what I was doing at one point in my life. And uh, But then I, I said, you know what? You're going to do it. I'll do it with you. And that started this whole thing that became reared in metal, really. I've used the name for other purposes but it became my bodybuilding i mean it was my get big name for years but um it's really kind of all rolled out of this experience that we had together bringing it to the first show so the first show you came in at like 180 pounds 182 pounds and it was you know Uh, something like that right i was 186 186 i was 186 without clothes okay so 186 but and you came in at 192 with clothes this year but 
just a totally different package. So, you know, people that are like, I need to put... I haven't on... seen the... Pic- <laughs> well, we've seen we've seen the physique. I've and seen... We've uh, seen some still shots. I've seen some comparison pics, but I haven't seen the individual pics, so... I saw you pose, and you had... I mean, you were good in your first show. You were really good for, for the amount of time that you had been able to put into full-time bodybuilding, but you still had the, the amateur look, and just a year and 14 months later or whatever it is... You've got you got a more polished. I mean, you have work to do, obviously. Yeah, I got a ton of work to do. But it's a much more polished look, and size wise, you're starting to resemble what you need to look like. What I noticed though is the biggest thing that I noticed was that you're only about five seven, right? I'm five seven. Yeah, I noticed that even though you're five seven and you're standing up there and you're winning your class in lay heavy, that you're going to look better as a heavy than you will as a lay heavy. Um, your arms are going to improve. Your back's going to improve. Even your quads, which are already crazy, and your your hamstrings are going to improve, and you're going to hold weight. Probably, I'd say your your best look that you'll ever look at, and you know I'm good at this, picking a weight, but I think that you're going to look really good at about two eighteen to two twenty. Is <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen this year. You'll probably be my age when you do it. Obviously, but 220, 220 range. I mean, you could be two sixty by then if you were, you know, just go crazy no, with stuff. That. No, I, but that's not, not your thing. No, that's I, not I your don't want to look like that. I don't want to. I'm not. You know. I, I think you're going to be a really good heavyweight. I think two twelve is not going to be the the class for you. All those guys are my height to five five. Um, but you're not going to be a super heavy, because then you're going to lose. You don't. You don't have that super crazy. Wide hip, wide quad look, you know, big calves, heavyweight, super heavyweight look. You know, I don't like that look anyway. So. No, I don't. That, no. It's not your look. 220, mark my words, 218 to 220, ultimately, finished product is going to be your absolute best look. That's a, long, that's a long ways away, but so mark it down, put it down. All right, so this year, what are, <laughs> what are we trying to do? Uh, so the game plan this year is, uh, I think, <clears throat> the... Um, the gentleman who beat the gentleman who got the overall um, was a was a heavyweight. Um, had either equal or better condition than I had, and he was bigger. Um, taller too. Though. He's a yeah taller, but uh, you know he had a bigger back. Um, uh, he had a bigger back. He had a bigger back. He had a more detailed he back. Had, he had a he wasn't back. as wide as you. I, yeah, but the problem is, is I'm wide up top, and then I lose it coming yeah, down because the of my, lower back because is my lower, stick. because of my because of my lower back and my lat. So, you know, in in looking at uh, his contest uh, placing history, he's a nationals guy. Yeah, um, and he got crushed at nationals. So, you which know, is, which is a wake up call for a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah, and I just you know, for me, I don't. Uh, but it's not apples to apples, though, because you got you got to think about who you're comparing with when you show up. No, the, no, I I understand that, but I don't. You know, I don't think that there's. Yeah, he got crushed. Think about who won. There's no. Think about who won yeah. the USA's. Anthony and Aaron Clark and those guys. Yeah, but I just don't. Okay, but still, so they. I mean, I'm not gonna. You're not at that level. I'm not yet, at that level. Neither is he. Yeah. So uh, it just doesn't make any it doesn't make any financial sense to me. If I had all the money in the world, yes, I'd go to nationals right now, show up, hand out cards, and say hi, I'm James Lino, and I'm here, and get crushed, and then say, oh, everybody knows my name now. But I don't, I can't do that. I, I, you know, so I think um, it makes more financial sense to just you know go back to the drawing board, um, put on the weight that I need to you know to put on, and you know I was so afraid. Uh, and, <laughs> Joe and Keith can tell you this. I was, I was so afraid that I wasn't gonna make weight. Yeah, because you were like I was like, two, yeah, I was like, I was like two hundred four, two hundred one, you know, before I started cutting water. And they were like, dude, like relax, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna yeah, be fine. Right. And then one day, and I was like, and I was already down to like one ninety six. I right. woke up and I'm like already making weight. And we got two days to go. Yep. <clears throat> so, and I probably could have been in better condition. So, you know, I think. Oh yeah, no, there's, there's again, always improvements. Right. So I think again we try to come in at the tippity top of the class, 198, crazy conditioning, be the biggest, hardest, you know, light heavy there is, and you know, blow everybody away and have the type of physique where 
I can feel confident enough that I can go to nationals and place well enough to get a requalifier and not having to keep doing these stupid regional shows because I don't care about trophies. I yeah. don't care about, oh, you're already in condition. Like, let's go do like two, three, four shows. No, why? That doesn't, doesn't, I don't care about that. It's, no. that's, I'm not padding the mantle. Yeah, I, I don't, that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything to me. Regional shows don't mean anything to me except that they're a, a gateway to nationals. So, you know, it's great that I earned a nationals bid. Um, but let's be realistic. I'm not nationals level yet. And, uh, well, you've got two years of training. You got to remember that. Wow. Well, Put in another year and say, let's see what, what, what you look like. Yeah. And then once, like I said, once we get, once we get to the point where you're like, okay, like this is a national, like this is quality, like, you know, nationals level physique. Um, then it just becomes okay. National, sh national shows from now on, no more regional shows. And, uh, and I, and I think that's the way we play it. I'm not in any hurry. I mean, I know I'm kind of on the older side of things because no, I, I started out late, but... Uh, guys are starting out later than you are, and I'm they're not, making uh, a splash in the pros, too. Yeah, I'm not I'm not in any hurry, and I don't, I'm don't. i not going to blow myself out, you know, trying to get there as quick as I can. And this is that, I, this is that, a, a lifestyle for me. It's a, it's, <clears throat> it's a hobby, and, um, and I enjoy doing it. It's not the only thing that I do. I have a career. I mean, you know, there are other things that I do, but I enjoy doing it, so I'm not going to... You know, I'm not gonna get obsessed about you know going to nationals, be the biggest guy. Oh, we both know people that are that are delusional, think they're gonna be Mr. Olympia, you know, working at GNC, and doing 16 little local shows a year, but never moving up in a weight class, never really taking any steps forward. I mean, that's not really what it's about. You know, 16,000 Twitter and Instagram pictures a week. Oh, and and and, and who says you know? I mean. You know, Sean Ray used to come in, you know, to every show within five, seven pounds of his last show for years and years and years and years, and he looked better and better and better and better. I mean, I, so, I don't think he ever really got over like two hundred and eleven. Yeah, pounds. so I mean, it's just time in the gym. It's just it's time under tension, time in, in the gym. I mean, a lot of these. What's impressive is at, really when you when you think about it is that these regional shows. There's always like a, I feel like there's a big gap between like the younger guys and the older guys. Yeah, and. The older guys, you know, the skin quality and all yeah, that stuff, yeah. because they're older. But there's nobody in these shows who's 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 young, who has the type of density and graininess and hardness and mu musculature that these old guys have, because they've been, just been doing it for years and years. And you know, that's what it takes. And you got to put the time in, man. This is anything that's worth anything takes a while to do. And you got to understand that. You got to recognize that. Well, I've been walking. I've been doing this for years. I mean, it didn't take a big gap. In training, but I've been put in a lot of years, and you're already grainier and nastier than I am. So you're you're ahead of most at, at their stage. Thanks for the video. Thanks for the interview. Um, we'll be following. Yeah, I, wish, more. Uh, I wish we had some. I wish we had some pics to put up there, and you know, to, to show what we've done. But yeah, hopefully they start coming up online. I got some pictures from posing today, which obviously are not stage shots. Um, and there's some screen grabs and some comparisons online and stuff. But, yeah, hopefully they get some pretty good pictures up there. Give my first thumbs up. Yeah. Give my first gotta, thumbs up pose today. Yeah, James Peel today. So we, don't, so we, don't, so we don't know the kid. We don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So James peeled off his uh, shirt he's wearing oh. here. And, you know, the, the crowd stopped. And these two kids were just slack-jawed like, oh, my God. And uh, one of them goes, can I get my picture with you? And James has this big shitty and grin with a thumbs up pose. The first one he ever did. And I took it with the kid's camera and not mine, like a fucking idiot. So I'm going to have to chase that kid down sometime and <laughs> get the fucking thing from him because it's awesome. Uh, that was a good moment. And then he says after, is it gay that, I, or not gay, sorry, that's that's a bad way to put it. Is it, is it bad that I feel good about this? <laughs> I was like, no, it's the best thing ever when somebody comes up to you and says, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> You're no, you're the biggest person I've ever seen. And he turns to me and goes, You're pretty big too. Don't you know, you're the two <laughs> biggest guys I've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm like, yeah, it's cool. Um, how much do you weigh? He's like, I was one ninety two. Like, one ninety two? Yeah, I'm not one ninety two anymore, but you thought he was you thought he was gonna say two ninety two or yeah. something. But looking at him, it was pretty cool. All right, that's it for now. We're gonna go eat. Oh, here's, the, oh. here's the other thing too. Let's like get some constructive like questions up there. Instead of the, the YouTube. This is yeah, well, not, not just the YouTube, like on the forum and stuff like that. I mean, oh, on on GH15. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, like, 
Some I, of the questions are like, what kind of green beans do you eat and stuff like no, that. No, it's not. It's not even that. I mean, that could listen. I mean, that could that could be like a legitimate question someone has, and I don't know how you get through life without knowing what a green bean is. But I mean, I just think that, you know, nobody gets. Let, let's 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 uh, you know analogize here. I played tennis in high school, and you never got better. You know, playing against in a ladder match playing against someone who was worse than you right you'd always play down to that person no you always do in ladder matches you always wanted to get paired with someone who was better than you not because you had the opportunity to move up but you knew you're going to play better because you're going to play up to that person's level so like at the same time i mean you know with, like the whole purpose of the forum and stuff like that is supposed to be you know for constructive criticism for questions you know it i think there's a lot of that in well, some of the other forums I don't know. I just don't think it does a lot. It doesn't do anybody any, like a lot of people any good to just like come on there and be like, oh, you guys look awesome. You guys look nasty. You're going to crush it. You're going to kill it. Yeah. James is not like impressed the with, with like anything. The so. positive reinforcement is like, it's cool and it's, you know, and it's, and it's appreciated and stuff like that. But I mean, there's got to be more than that. There's going to be, you know, hey, how do I do this? Or how do you guys do this? Or what do you think about this? And blah, blah, blah. Because then it just becomes just a big circle jerk. And I mean, nobody really learns anything. So yeah, that's just a, I don't know. You can edit this Part, out. No, yeah. I'm not going to edit it out. Part of it is that people want to ask questions that, um, you know, are, are like either well beyond their level of expertise and they shouldn't be asking them yet. They should be doing basic stuff. Yeah, I, and, gave, someone a, I gave someone a smack down the other day. <laughs> you see that one? I don't On know. On the legs? I don't think I saw it. Yeah. They, there, was this, there was this thread about how... Um, Squats. Squats doesn't equal big legs. Like, there's this whole mentality now. There's this whole theory that, you know, squats don't build big legs. You don't have to squat. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you have to work up to that point. Right. Where, like, squats become more dangerous than what they're worth. Right. Like, you, you got to get to that point where you push yourself. Exactly. You to that limit. Oh, Dorian never squatted. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He tore his quad He blew squat. out his freaking knee. And right. then he didn't squat anymore. But he still squatted to build up the legs. So, I'm not saying, you know... It wasn't the best exercise for him in his career, but it was what got him to the stage that found the best exercise, which for him was leg press. Right. We squatted... I think heavy, heavy, heavy squats, back squats for half the for half of a year. We yeah. heavy back squatted every workout, and then it got to the point where it was like, okay, like we don't have to do that anymore. We can squat and do high rep. We can do other things, right? Um, because but, once you get to four plates for fifteen or whatever it is that you were at right. twelve, what are you gonna do? Right, you because, start slapping on five or six plates. You're looking at injury, exactly, rather than, exactly. And then it's so then it's not worth it to do to do that anymore. So you like you have to work 